Some of you might remember when I built this guitar and it has some really fun interesting electronics. It has a pickup selector just the way it's supposed to be but then it has a volume and a tone. It has a stutter and a distortion. Now I never told you that I actually used this guitar to come up with that distortion thing. It was sort of what I used to try things out, to find the right diodes. Because if you didn't know, it's actually a question of using two diodes. I'll show you when I open up the guitar. And the thing is, I've been playing this guitar for a while, I really like it. But uh, last time I played it, there was something wrong with the electronics and I get some buzzing whenever I touch the metal part. And that tells me that there is a ground wire loose somewhere inside the guitar. So I need to open it up to do something about that. Now, I was also thinking, because I actually liked the distortion thing that I did for the other guitar in this guitar better. So I'm thinking that I'm going to change out the electronics and have one master volume and one master tone and then a distortion knob for that fun and exciting sound. And it's going to be super easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. What we need to do is we have to take off the pickguard. There are going to be two cables that goes to the output jack here and we need to unsolder them. There is also one going to the claw right here and that's our bridge ground connection and we need to unsolder that one as well. Now I'm going to assume that you already know how to take a pickguard off and you already know how to disorder the ground connection and the lead connections that are required to be able to take out the entire pickguard. If you don't know that, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you in another video. But in this one we're just going to skip ahead till when the pickguard is already out. Okay, so here's the pickguard now taken out of the body. This is what it looks like. I have a bunch of cables going in all directions. It's a little bit messy and I'm sorry about that. These are mini humbuckers. There's a lot of cables. You know, it's very easy for it to get confusing. And I'm sorry for that. But I'm going to try to explain how we're going to do this. So, I want to turn this into a single tone pot and this into a single distortion or whatever you want to call it. Now, some of you will open up your guitar and it will look like I have it here with a capacitor of some sort. The green little thing here. It doesn't have to be green, it can be some other color. Sometimes you have a big cylindrical one and it's like orange or something like that. Depending on what kind of guitar it is. But anyway, sometimes you have two, one for each, and sometimes you have one that goes across for both. If you have one, like I have it, you have to follow along the steps that I'm going to show you. If you have two, you have one that is on one side here and it's usually lying flat on top of the back of the pot. And then you just need to leave one alone that you want to keep as the tone and do nothing to it. And the other one you just have to unsort the connections and attach distortion circuit thing that we're going to make. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And just put it in place and there is no issue. If it looks like this you have to do a little bit more. So first off we have to take it off from this contact right here like so and then we have to take it off from this contact right here as well and it can actually get a little bit fiddly and you don't need the legs to be this long so I'm just gonna snip them off like so and then we just heat it up and take it out like that and now we're just gonna bridge those two contact points again so we're just gonna put this back in through that leg right there and heat it up and then bend the other leg over to where the ground connection on the back was. So basically it looks like that, just the leg connecting to the top. And it doesn't matter which leg you use, if you use the the first leg on this side or the last leg on this side, it doesn't matter, it just means that it will be moving in the opposite direction. And now we need to take this cable right here and move it over to the middle, like so. Now just so you don't get confused, this leg and this leg is the same. So if I put our little circuit between here and here, this pot will move the opposite direction than this. So I'm going to put it here, over to here. 
our distortion circuit is a super easy little clipping diode thing and it looks like this you have a diode they look like this and you have another diode right next to it that looks like this on the diode you will find some sort of line that is on it and you just need to take and flip them around so one diode is on one side of the other diodes where it's no line and the other one where there is no on the other like this and these two you will twist together and these two you will twist together so they become one like so now i'm going to use something called bat 41 you can use a lot of different diodes uh, you could actually even use leds now the way a diode works is that it pushes electricity in one way and it can't be pushed the other way basically so electricity can only flow through the diode in one way and it just keeps going that way and whenever it tries to go the other way it gets blocked there is a no-go so basically but think of it almost like a door or a gate or something that is you know a big heavy door like you know something from i don't know the lord of the rings or something you know this is supposed to be a, a door you know something like that with some nice masonry and the door is really heavy and some doors are much heavier and so you need to be stronger in order to open it i hope this makes sense and so you don't want a door that is super hard to open you want something kind of easy Basically what I'm saying is the signal from your pickups are very small. There isn't much going on and you want something that will push through a lot. Because the more resistance you have in these diodes, the more electricity you need to push through, the, the more distorted, the more clipped the signal will be. But the lower the signal will be that goes to your amp. And so you want to find something that matches nicely, that lowers the volume so much that it's not really noticeable but that distorts it enough so that you actually feel like you have something happening to your signal. And that's where having hot pickups like humbuckers or mini humbuckers can come really good into place and having diodes like for example the BAT 41s. So that's what I'm using. You could experiment with doing a lot of different ones. Now you might want to ask me what this is. I'm gonna um, share an experiment that I'm doing here with you. So you've seen my SD guitar, and in that, the distortion control looks like this. Just two diodes twisted together. Well, you can also do it like this. And that's the experiment I'm going to try to do now to see if there is any difference. It's not a difference that I'm going to be able to show you. It's going to be more of an experiment for myself. And all I've done on this, because it looks wonky, is that I've covered everything in hot glue. Because I don't want it touching anything else. Because it's going to be kind of weird and messy to have it in the guitar. Okay, so now I just need to heat this up again. And push this in so that it gets connected. And then I'm going to solder it to the back here as well. And now we're basically done with the entire thing. If it looks a little bit messy and weird, I'm sorry. I hope you can see what it is. I'm done. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is something about the switch. Because right now we would only have a distortion control if we were in the middle position. Which could be fun and cool. And you could experiment with having that. Because you basically only put it in on the middle one. So 4 and 2 on the switch would be some sort of weird blend thing maybe it actually sounds really interesting so i might want to try that at some point but anyway there is a lot of ways you could fix this for example you could take the tone knob wires and go directly to the switch or you could uh, wire them all together on the switch where they go to volume pot they're all perfectly fine options honestly or you could do it very easy for yourself and that is you could take one of these legs that you've cut up from a resistor or something and you could just bridge the connections because the middle one here is for the bridge and then the two outer ones are the old connections for the two tones that were there before. So now basically I've just bridged all those three connections. And I'm sorry if it's not very well filmed. If you do full screen you might be able to see it. But basically that connection will be to the middle pickup's tone. That will be to the neck tone. 
and that one will always be nothing because that's where the tone for the bridge would be. Obviously if you have a, a guitar that has a tone for the bridge that's where the connection will be but that's you know a more modern thing. Anyway just laying something over all three to connect them. The two controls are now connected to all three stages. Yes. So here's the pick guard right now and as you can see it needs to go into a guitar. So let me just do that real quickly. If you felt like me going through all of this and showing you it in detail it wasn't good enough because it's kind of hard to film something that small that close up. I mean for example here is a resistor. I don't know if you can even see it. What I'm trying to say is the parts are very small. They're very tiny and it's really hard to get that close with the camera. So please let me know in the comments below if you have any good ideas for how to film this in a good way because I'm considering making some how to wire up different kinds of guitars sort of basic videos for beginners and so when I do finally make those videos I would love for them to be easy <laughs> to follow along. Just wanted to put that out there because the videos become better when you talk to me in the comments below so please do so. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We need it to grow. Yo! Okay, sorry. Anyway, until next time, stay awesome and cool and go and put in a distortion knob in one of your guitars and, you know, have fun doing something weird and crazy with it and being creative and awesome. Okay, so I quickly just want to jump in here now before we do the demo, just because I did a quick change uh, when I was doing the demo. The guitar is here and yes, I did all of this as an excuse to <laughs> repaint the guitar. But the thing is, I went to record the demo and I showed you two different kinds of putting the diodes. And this is the way that I did in my other guitar, the SG. And this is the experiment I wanted to do in this because I've seen similar th things in pedals. So I kind of wanted to try it. But this, it doesn't work. So everything I've shown you works. You can do it, you can do it that way. But you have to change it out and go with the old diode clipping of two, basically. The way I did it in the other one. And the reason why is it because doing it the other way is it's too much of a subtle effect. I played the guitar and I felt like, whoa, the, this is so very subtle. Like I can barely hear anything at all. Like the effect is so, it's such a small amount that it's almost not there at all. And I, I really did everything I could to try to dial in the amp to be as spark or clean as possible. Because if you want a big comparison, you have to make one really clean uh, so that you can distort it with this. Otherwise it will be too faint. But anyway, I changed it back to the other one. So everything will work the way it is. I just, it, it didn't show up in a video. It just didn't. It was too small in real life and it was almost absolutely nothing. So... Keep that in mind that when you're listening to it now, it has the same as the other one, Dio thing. Yeah, just wanted to pop that in here real quickly. You have to balance out the kind of volume you want with how, how much you're willing to lose in order to get the clipping, because that's basically what it's about. It's about clipping the sound, making it smaller. So yeah, let's just now jump in to listening to how this guitar sounds with its new paint job. Wow. <laughs> 